What, what is, is good, good Mama, Mama Squad? Squad? And welcome back to our channel. So, this is another raw, uncut video. So, the last uh, video that we took, we did not know what was going to happen to our house during Hurricane Ian. If you did not know, there was a category, I'm just going to call it a category five. It was. Because it was two miles an hour away from being a category five hurricane, which means the wind speeds reached up to 160 miles an hour almost by our house, in our neighborhood, in our town. And uh, first, this is going to be the after hurricane update, and it was devastating. First and foremost, I just want to say we are so very blessed that we were safe and sound during this hurricane. And the damage that we did get was so minor. Compared, we'll show you a couple pictures too yes, right now of like the actual damage. Compared to what has happened in our literal home town. Literally, like, like everywhere. Like where we go, where we eat, all of our places. Like so many things. Terrible like, have happened. These minor damages can be replaced, but the lives that were taken cannot. And it's honestly so devastating to hear the hundreds and hundreds of people that passed during the storm. Like this is how it was really bad, you guys. Like I don't think you guys realize if you haven't looked at it how bad it really was. So the last update we did, we only did after we knew about our fence. Yeah. The hurricane wasn't over yet, right? No, that was when it was so first starting. The hurricane was just starting in our last video. If you did not see that, make sure to go watch that as well because that gives you some insight before the hurricane got bad. We didn't know what to expect. We obviously, we came down to Florida a little bit early because we heard the storm. there was a storm coming. So we came a little earlier and um, where do we start? I don't even know where we start. I think we, I think we should start by showing you guys the pictures of our house. So, yeah. you know, I don't know if you knew, but our cameras went out at like 11.30 a.m. and that was right when it was starting to get bad. We had no eyes on our house until this hurricane was over, until our neighbors <sighs> were taking pictures and videos and everything. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's not so. devastating. Like, I know we have minor. It's still sad to see like oh, all this no stuff being what, ripped yeah. up. No matter but, what, like, yeah. But like, at the but. same time, it's like, I am so thankful this is all yeah. that has happened. But this is the damage that was our house. Was Thankfully, it wasn't that bad. Was we just had a broken fence. Our whole fence is absolutely destroyed. As you can see in this picture. It's everywhere. Like all this, the, all the, like the fence stuff is you everywhere. You can see it. And then if you look a little closer, you can see our pool cage is actually... <laughs> ripped uh, in half uh, our pool cage yeah actually ripped in half it, as well literally like all the stuff all like the screen and stuff is in the pool our pool is green our pool is green like almost brown it's yeah, so it's bad so disgusting um but like at, luckily you know we didn't get it the worst my mom and dad's house did flood a little bit and uh some yeah. of our other good friends they lost their like basically their house house and like their it, it's not gone but all their belongings and, it's, it's and that's why i'm saying we're yeah. so thankful that we did not get any more damage because the damage that was done to our house i'm honestly shocked that nothing flew into our windows we yeah. were i need to show happy. you guys this video too this is after the hurricane this is when the water started coming this is this video is taken literally right in my neighborhood down the road you can see the waters are or the roads literally water yeah like, look crazy. at that that is literally down my neighborhood a road my, the whole ocean my house is almost a mile away from that and it's just it, like, crazy. It's insane. This is not even like close to the water. It's so scary, guys. And I've honestly been really sad. I actually started crying yesterday when you you weren't home. We were out. Yeah. I was actually crying because I was seeing just like it's just like hitting real. It didn't feel real. Honestly, these videos and pictures that I'm seeing honestly feel like this happened like years ago. And it finally hit me that this is real. Like this stuff that's damaged is real. It it's doesn't gonna, feel like, real. Like you you always hear like natural disasters and this and that, but until you live in an area that has actually happened you don't you don't know how it feels and we weren't even there for it yeah. but we see that all of a good like f like fort myers beach is flat like you guys the, i'm gonna cry right now there were buildings there were like hundreds of buildings so that are memories. like literally all is left is the cement and like it's crazy everything was like just ripped away from everyone boats and you know houses everything cars everything floating down the road like the cape coral beach totally ripped up oh too. both of our piers cape coral beach pier and fort myers beach pier totally gone the piers are not even there the docks are not even existent i don't even know when they're going to be back it's crazy like it, it's it's, it's actually so insane and I, I don't want you guys to like you know feel sad for sad us for don't us. feel sad for us because uh, we had it very lucky we people, were able to get out we were able to evacuate yeah. we had the minimal damage i don't have words for for what people have gone through also if my voice sounds weird i lost my voice i was talking i was yelling yesterday it was up till 6 a.m yeah 
the yeah. music was really loud and I was yelling over that. But anyways, besides that. Um, Don't feel bad for us. Yeah, literally, like, we had it really easy. Uh, I wish I could be there right now. To help clean. But all, every single flight is taken. Every single um, airport is, like, or in our area shut down. So we're going home soon. We got people looking over our house. So, you know, we'll know, you know everything going on, if anything else happens. We had, Other than that, we had a little roof damage and, and just cosmetic stuff. But A little bit of water damage, too, on yeah. the inside. But and also Sanibel Bridge. I don't know if you guys saw that. Sanibel oh my Bridge God. is ripped away. I don't even know how this is possible. The wind ripped away a concrete bridge. Like how? How is that even possible? I don't, guys. It's that's like how so, bad it was. Like that's yeah, why show the pictures. I'm surprised that our house and everyone's house withheld and some buildings in Sanibel. But like the bridge is made out of concrete and it's still floating. Well, away. show them the first show on the Fort Myers Beach. I want to show you guys. If you guys know Fort Myers Beach, like that is a place where we take people for like vacations and it was just such a like oldie kind of vibe, like a beach vibe. It was a beach oldie beach vibe. It wasn't touristy oh kind of, but it was. Oh my god, looking at it makes me so, so sad. So, this is the before. Bill was here. Bill was I was here 5 days five earlier. 5 days earlier. And I wish I went. Cuz so, I would have appreciated yeah, this it. This is more. this is how it looks before. And this is how it looks after. So I'll show you again. You guys, before, look at the pier and everything. Like, look at the really pier, look. Look at the blue building. Ready? After. Oh my god, that's so devastating. All of those so buildings, restaurants, are just flat, and the pier's gone. Everything's gone. The people that were there, I don't even know how how some like some of them made it. Like God bless, because Cover a lot ears. of them, a lot of them made it through. Cover your ears if this is gonna be too no, sensitive. I I, no, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. No, don't okay. say that. Okay, no. okay, okay. There's just a lot of stuff. You know, like natural disasters, like things happen. People in the wrong place at the wrong time, and there's a lot, a lot of stuff. And I'll on top of that, bridge. on top of that, the stores are closed. The gas stations are closed. Nobody can get food. All the food's gone bad. So it, it's literally just like. It's crazy. Like we, the only food they can get and gas is by people bringing it in. And we're gonna be bringing some this week. We're gonna yeah. go down there. We're gonna be bringing a truckload. Um, after we land, we're actually flying to Orlando, and then going to our house. Yeah, because all the flights in Fort Myers yeah. are booked. Not booked. They're canceled. They're all. They're canceled, not flying yeah. in or out, which is crazy. And what's really sweet is the airlines are actually um, waivering the pet fees for arriving back home, which I'm really thankful for that. Because the flight home is actually pretty expensive. Because we're flying Orlando. A concrete structure. This is a bridge. Look at this thing. But you should see it's multiple parts of the bridge. You see that? Multiple parts of the bridge are just destroyed. And that's not even it. Like, like that. Oh. That was a roadway. That was a bridge leading to the island. There's the road. There's the road, and it's all it's all washed. Like it. it I don't even know. I don't know how. Like you just have to see. That is a terrible storm to be able to like rip apart. And we were seeing everything. also pictures of like where we live and like the streets and the, the boats and just everything and they're just ripped. Everything is just destroyed. And honestly, it's gonna be a really sad day when we go home this week and seeing where we have lived not even really look the same. It, it's honestly doesn't even feel real and it's gonna feel really real. I feel like that's there. why we're not like crying. I feel like we should be crying right now. I was crying. I am, I am, I know you were. Uh, but I literally like, you can't like, how could something be this devastating this real like Not once i see it, it once i literally go down there and see it like i feel like i'm like a seer to believer i know it happened but like once i actually am in it in my house like we don't have power and this and that i'm gonna be like holy I'm crap seeing our pool cage this is like like, our, like this is not even bad and we got it we got it decently bad for a house you guys, I just want to say our hearts literally go out to all the people who were severely affected for this hurricane. It's honestly really sad that, you know, the week before, we didn't even know what it was going to be. It was only going to be a I Category 2. I feel like the news two. downplayed it. They did. That's what pissed me off. The news, I feel like, downplayed it. Usually, the news makes it seem worse than it is. The news didn't even talk about anything. Like, they didn't even tell anyone to evacuate until the day the of, of. Until the hurricane was hitting. They did not tell people to evacuate. And I know I'm not blaming anyone, but I really, really wish people just evacuated more i just want to took it more serious like, i feel like florida people are like oh, oh it changes directions but like look what happened like and i think it also has to do with the last hurricane that was in florida guys it was like it was gonna hit really bad and then it didn't and people evacuated but they didn't need to so i feel like this time they were like you know what it wasn't even bad last time i'm gonna stay and a bunch of people that stayed got either injured i'm sorry passed away or just all their cars Anytime are gone or this and that. I see now from this day forward 
anything that there's gonna be a hurricane, like, I'm bordering my. I'm bordering. I'm bordering yep. the house, and I'm leaving because, yep. like, I don't think it's worth even riding it out. It would be. It would be cool to experience and ride it out if it was not bad. We're but like, be prepared. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna chance something coming through the window and then me no. getting hit with something or. Like, I'm and I'm not hating on the people that left because I know it's just a messed up situation. You you can't you can't know how it is. I just really, really feel for for everyone that was affected. Like I don't know. We we need to we need to go down and and just I wish start I, helping. If you guys have any like do, if you guys want any like donations that we can donate, we really want to like donate yeah. and give our like. Oh yeah, do they, do they have anything set up yet? I don't know, I want to know. They have to, there's so to. much So damage. if you guys, comment down below anything that if you guys know, because I want to donate and give our money to people that are in need, because honestly, we are very lucky, like I said, that we did not get anything more severe, and we were here, we were safe and sound, and you know, people's houses that flooded, people's houses that were destroyed, they have no home to go home to, like, it's honestly just so sad, and I just wish I could be there right now. There's I want to so be much, there and help. There's so much to talk about so many people were just saying how it's just so much destruction so many emotions so we're and really sorry you guys we really are our hearts are for you guys uh, and we, we tried updating you guys as much as we could on tiktok and stuff during the hurricane um it and it, it's yeah it's and, and seeing it now it's just like what the heck like we did not think it was gonna it's be gonna bad. feel real when we go home it's gonna feel real and we're gonna see it all we don't even know if we're gonna have power we don't even know what's happening hey i just want to tell everyone that like we see all your comments like everyone that oh my that gosh is, yes is commenting pray for you guys pray for everyone down like thank you, you like thank you we we appreciate your comments so much like pray for the people in florida play pray that everyone makes it out okay or as many as people as can like people in hospitals they make it out okay because like you guys you guys have really been like an awesome an awesome system. army for us and feels, I, I know for a lot of people that are in florida it, even in the comments yeah, i'm sure a lot of them are in florida. it feels really good knowing we had a really good support system during this time because the time when we did not know what was going on it was the worst day ever and it felt yeah. this i was so like distraught my stomach just, was in the, yeah, knot not, the whole time yes all day i was scared for his sisters that were down there during this his family just like so many things were running through our heads and but you luckily know, like my family is us. all safe my yeah. family and friends i've talked everyone that i've talked to is all safe they're just been, uh, you know, trying to trying, to, trying to get by, and yeah. you know, they've been living out without power for almost a week now. Yeah, not honestly. almost a week, like four days. Four days, yeah. yeah they've been without power. It's like 90 degrees there. So imagine, and it's humid. So we just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Also, anyone in our comments or anyone watching our videos, like we love all you guys, um, but all everyone that's like that was affected from this, like Florida, Orlando, Tampa, wherever you are. Um, or Myers, even even North Carolina, Naples. Georgia got it. South Carolina, like literally, like our hearts go out to you. I hope everyone is okay and like share your experiences down here in the comments if uh, you know if you were affected by it and if you weren't, just you know you know leave a nice comment like you guys always do and uh you know people we're that safe. people that are affected definitely like we love reading them we're safe we're blessed we're thankful and and we're going home soon to uh i keep squeaking <laughs> and we're going home soon to uh help clean up bring supplies and just uh start help. start rebuilding start yeah. helping and rebuilding so so i don't know we'll, we'll hit you back with another update i think we should do a vlog comment down below should we do a vlog once we get home to show you around oh, the area yeah, i yeah, think yeah, yeah. i think if you guys want it um you know give this video a thumbs up we'll be uh, home for we'll be home soon but we'll give you guys an update on when that will be yeah just, make sure everyone right now give the video give the video a like uh to show um you know you want to see another updated video because i want to show you guys i want to show you the town i want to show you everything i yeah, want to i'll like do a Cape whole beach fort myers it's we can try i don't know if, you, if people are even let, allowed on there we'll, right we'll now. try as much as we can because we'll, we'll literally be your inside scoop for what's going on there so we appreciate all of you guys for watching this video. I know it was super uncut, super raw, but we just have to, you know, spill out a little update after the hurricane, how we are. Um, and we're okay. We're still, we're very yeah. sad and we're very sad. It's but it's, definitely it's, hard. It's only up from here. You yeah. know, we'll learn from this and, uh, you Be know, safe. next time around, I hope a lot of Prepare. people take this more seriously, even if. Like, I they know a lot of people think. did, but, like, even if they don't think it's bad. Because I know I will be. Oh, I will be 100%. This changes our life forever. It, it does. It showed us that, that we need to take stuff like this more serious. I mean, it's we're living in a state that has hurricanes. Yeah. So we need you to make sure ready. we're prepared. We got to be ready. All right. Well, we love you guys, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for all your support. But we until then, peace. Love, love you guys. guys.